Welcome to the Prepped and Polished podcast, the podcast that empowers you to take control of your education, featuring weekly interviews with influencers in the world of education, as well as tutoring tips, lessons, and updates. And now, here's your host, Alexis Avila. And welcome back to the Prepped and Polished podcast. This is episode 168. This is Alexis Avila, your host. Make sure to join our Prepped and Polished community on SoundCloud and Facebook and Twitter. We're also on Instagram, and we have over 200 videos on YouTube. Just type Prepped and Polished, and also go to our site, PreppedandPolished.com, for more info and to sign up for our free ACT essay course on the front page of our website. Just go to PreppedandPolished.com. If you have a question or reaction during or after this podcast, please submit your question to radio at PreppedandPolished.com. Today on episode 168, I speak to teen mentor Mark Altman, founder of Mindset Go, a company that empowers students to find their voice to become the best versions of themselves and actualize their potential. Mark also wrote the curriculum and teaches the Parenting Your Teen Communication for Life workshops that help parents and teens better talk and listen to each other so they can strengthen their relationships. What's Mark's core belief? That uh, growth mindset is the top contributor to personal, professional success and happiness. On today's episode, Mark talks about how he empowers students to become more confident and effective communicators. So let's get to today's guest, Mark Altman of Mindset Go. Mark, thanks so much for coming on the Prepped and Polished podcast. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Alexis. How are you? Awesome. Thank you. Can we start off by uh, you, you're sharing a little of your background and uh, on, on how you became founder of your team empowerment uh, company, Mindset Go. Yeah, I was uh, fortunate enough, Alexis, to, uh, I had started a company in 2001 that worked with government utilities, and I was fortunate enough to sell that company in 2011, fulfilled an obligation for two years to that company, and then in 2014, uh, started up Mindset Go. And the premise behind it was, I am a huge believer that growth mindset, and just mindset in general, is a, uh, if not the most significant, certainly one of the top contributors to not only personal and professional success, but also personal happiness. And so the idea behind Mindset Go was to uh, help people of all ages, but for the purpose of this, uh, students uh, as young as fourth grade all the way up to college graduates be more confident and effective communicators And uh, that's what we've been doing over the last few years, and it is something I'm incredibly passionate about and enjoy. What types of uh, uh, services does does Mindset Go provide? Well, we do we do one on one coaching, but we also do workshops because I'm a big believer that uh, students, when they're working together and collaborating and sharing ideas, it's uh, it's been it's an effective motivator and teacher uh, for new skills. So there are three basic programs we're we're running right now. One of them is called uh, Lights, Camera, Communicate. And the idea behind Lights, Camera, Communicate is we're teaching kids uh, how to become a talk show host, not so much because they're going to grow up and be a talk show host, more so they can learn how to engage engage with their peers, learn conversation skills, learn interview skills, et cetera. Uh, We have a separate second program called KidX, which is a public speaking and presentation program. It's built on the uh, famous TED Talks concept where kids make a five-minute presentation uh, on something motivational, inspirational, demonstrative, but something that they're very passionate about. And they not only learn presentation and public speaking skills, but they have something for their portfolio. So when they go look for jobs and uh, internships and go to college, they have a differentiator. And then lastly, uh, the probably the core program we have is a program called Mindset Future. And the idea behind Mindset Future is, you know, companies like yours, Alexis, do such wonderful things for kids in helping them uh, with test prep and tutoring and things like that, which is so essential for a child's development. We take a different approach. Our approach is we're teaching kids how to be confident communicators by teaching them how to stand out from their peers. And one of the things I joke about with uh, parents is that, you know, kids grow up working so hard to fit in and all of a sudden they get to high school and now they have to figure out how to stand out. (laughs) And so 
You, you know, we, we're teaching the kids essentially um, how to articulate um, their characteristics, their skills, things that – their best selling points, essentially. We teach them how to start, maintain, and close conversations. We're teaching them how to master virtual communication skills. Uh, so this Mindset Future program is preparing kids for their latter years of high school and certainly college, uh, create relationships, networking, land jobs, land internships, etc. And so those are the different offerings we have, Alexis. And like I said, we do it through workshops and we also do it through one-to-one coaching. That's amazing. Um, what types of issues have you found uh, teens today face, especially those teens getting ready uh, you know, for the uh, gritty college application years? Yeah, I, I think one of the core issues I've seen, Alexis, is motivation. You know, I, I feel okay. like, um, and I don't think this is just a child issue, I think, or a student issue. I think this is a universal people issue. And it's hard to get people to change if, if you don't know what's going to motivate them to change. And one of the interesting things about applying for colleges is, is there's kind of like an obvious tangible motivator, right? Right. You want to get into college, so you need to get good test scores and write a good essay and so on and so forth. But the core issues that I see are, and this is really getting back to your initial question about why I started Mindset Go, the, the biggest issue I see is kids don't know how to have face-to-face conversations anymore. They don't know how to introduce themselves. They don't know how to give a little mini elevator pitch to get people interested in interested in them and wanting to learn more. And cell phones and texting and social media and all the things, all the uh, sources where kids and adults are really um, relying on for communication uh, these days have really deteriorated interpersonal communication skills. And frankly, I see that as such a significant issue moving forward because if you don't know how to build relationships with people, you're not going to be happy. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, do you work uh, with struggling teens, uh, you know, those who, who suffer, you know, maybe some, some depression issues, learning disabilities, other mental disorders? We do, and I'm really glad you asked that because one of the things I take a lot of pride in at Mindset Go is we consider our approach a non-therapeutic approach. So Mm -hmm. we work with uh, areas and kids, with whether it's psychological issues uh, such as depression or anxiety or things like that, we work with kids with special needs, whether they're on the spectrum with autism uh, or Asperger's or different uh, social challenges they might have. And I think what, what works with our programs and why we're so able to connect and relate to kids and teach them these things um, is because it is a non-therapeutic approach. And a lot of times, if you tell a child they're going to see a counselor, or the, which is correct, counselors are tremendous, by the way. Uh, but the challenge is, a lot of times, if, if therapeutic has such a stigma that parents and kids are intimidated by it and scared by it, where our programs are based on drawing on someone's passion and what they love to do and how they love to spend their time. And so, uh, yes, we do have a lot of clients with that uh, in that area, and, and we're proud of the non-therapeutic approach we take. That's amazing. Um, and do you work with students outside of the state? Uh, can we work with you on Skype? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, so w- when we work with out-of-state students, uh, it, with coaching, yes, we, we, we use, utilize Skype or some kind of video conference, conferencing tool. But with workshops, what we'll do often is organizations in other states around the country will bring us in to work with a group of kids. So we actually also do workshops out-of-state if, if there's a minimum amount of people within this organization that need the help. So, uh, okay. yes, we're, we're very open to doing that. So what, what are some tips that just come to your mind to developing a healthy mindset? Well, I think, I think the word mindfulness is, is, is huge. You know, part of improving, I think there's three or four different steps when you're trying to improve at something. First of all, you have to have uh, the awareness that, something needs to be improved. And it's, it's a two-part thing, Alexis, because one is having the awareness, and the second part of it is understanding that, having being aware of it, but wanting to get better at it. Because when parents send kids in here, 
and the kids aren't really, they're, they're being forced to be here. One of the things I make clear is, I don't want you, this is, this is fun. This is, this is set up to make you excited and motivated to learn. It's something you're going to enjoy. So I think having the awareness you need a problem, or that you need some help and grow. I think the second issue is understanding uh, what got you to this point. So Alexis, for example, if you're a guy, and I know you're not this way, but just as an example, yeah. if you're yeah. a guy that struggles to look people in the eye, you know, uh, why, why did, how did that happen? How did it get that way? You know, why are you nervous? So you, you need to understand not just that you have a problem, but what created the, the challenge or problem or area of improvement in the first place. And then, then you need the tools to get better, and then you need the practice. And if I was to give tips, Alexis, two quick tips I would give is I don't think people understand when it comes to communication skills or interpersonal skills, mm -hmm. you have to practice. You can't just go to a coach and workshop and be done because if you want to get better at a sport or a musical instrument or test prep or mm -hmm. anything that requires improvement, it needs practice. And so I think if it's a motivation, if it's goals for you improve, definitely prioritize the practice. And second, Understand that mistakes in my world and in the world of Mindset Go are, are good. They lead to improvement. They lead to practice. They lead to awareness. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to be open to learning and growth. That's awesome. Um, so do you guys work with adults? And uh, if not, you know, uh, can adults benefit from the strategies you instill in these kids? Yeah, yes. As a matter of fact, Alexis, that's what really, you know, most of, uh, up until a few years ago, most of what I had done over the course of my career was working with the college students or adults. And either companies would bring me in to do communication or sales or engagement training, uh, or pr uh, individuals would hire me for professional development for presentation training or sales training or entrepreneurs would look so yes we do do same thing we coach adults one-on-one -on -one and we do workshops for different industries and various size companies so i think it's very valuable for adults and one thing uh i started doing about a year ago alexis which has been a great success is i do parenting workshops and the idea behind these parenting workshops is let's face it a lot of the habits kids develop they get from their parents and so we have a parenting workshop series where we're teaching parents how to better connect, engage, and relate with their children. And the concept of these workshops are very different for adults because most of the time when there's parenting workshops, it's usually a keynote speaker or a lecturer, a mental health professional of some kind, or an author, where the workshops I do with parents are completely interactive in experiential learning where the adults are doing role plays, we're doing modeling, we're doing simulations of different experiences. And, for example, we talk about the pressures that parents and students are facing with college. I mean, Alexis, you know that uh, kids get to be juniors and seniors in high school, and the parents are starting to feel pressure and anxiety around money and around their child leaving home, and the students starting to feel pressure about what college am I going to get into? Am I going to get into a college? Am I going to let my parents down? So a lot of these issues that parents and students face, we address in these workshops, and parents get an opportunity to collaborate with one another and participate, and it's, it's a very different kind of experience. But uh, So yes, an emphatic yes, we work with uh, adults professionally and through parenting programs. What, uh, what are you guys currently working on? Uh, like de uh, development for your for your uh, company. A, you yeah, so there's two 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 big things we're working on. One of them is for professionals. We have uh, a new program that is designed. It's called uh, Mindset Leader, and the Mindset Leader program is really designed to teach leadership skills. But unlike many leadership programs, what we really focus on is making leadership attainable. Because I think typically if you were to poll kids or adults, I think when they think of a leader, it means being, you know, captain of a sports team or president of a club or, you know, head of an organization or some kind. And I think, I think that if we teach kids at a younger age uh, how leadership can be attainable and why it should be a priority, uh, they'll be more 
motivated to learn the skills and practice the skills and will we'll create grow more leaders. So I think the Mindset Leadership Program is really good. And, and we also do that same program for adults, for people who are looking for a career change or people who are, you know, have reached a point in their career where they want to take the next step and develop those leadership skills so they have uh, opportunity for promotion or advancement in their career or within their company. So that's one of the things. And then the other thing we're working on, Alexis, is we have a program called LEAP, which is a program where we're empowering students uh, through, um, it's called, the LEAP stands for Listen, Experience, Act, and Progress. And so we're empowering students. It's almost like the opposite of bullying. We're empowering students to have the communication skills to advocate for themselves and others so they can empower other students and their peers to be more confident communicators. And so it's a program we've developed. It's currently, we have middle school children in it, and they, it's all, again, it's all experiential learning. And everything we do, Alexis, for students and even adults is all built around utilizing on someone's passion, helping them build a growth mindset, and really tackling um, all the aspects of verbal communication, nonverbal communication, and we put a lot of emphasis on active listening skills uh, since that's such an important part of engaging with others. Awesome. How can we best get in touch with you and work with you? Uh, the best way to get in touch, uh, you can certainly come to our website, mindsetgo.com. Uh, my name is Mark, M-A-R-K, Altman, A-L-T-M-A-N, and you can reach me at maltman at mindsetgo.com, or you could certainly give me a call uh, at 978-793-1159. And uh, I'd, I'd be excited to talk to anybody who's interested in either as an adult participating or having one of their children participate and would appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. Any advice for teens listening uh, to us today who are getting ready to cross that bridge from teenage to young adulthood? Yeah, I think the number one piece of advice is it's never too early to improve your skills and build up your, and I hate to use this word, it sounds so advanced for teenagers, but resume. Because even if you're an eighth grader, ninth grader, tenth grader, uh, there's, it's never a bad time to improve uh, your communication skills. And frankly, Alexis, you know, one of the things that I've been very focused on is where so many kids need to build up those skills to be prepared for college uh, from a maturity level, from a confidence level. But they also, not everybody's going to college. So some kids, you know, are taking gap years. Some kids are just going right into employment to save money. So the things that we're teaching are really built around skills regardless of what path you choose, college, jobs, gap years. And so the advice I would give is it's never too early. And for parents who are kind of gauging whether they should invest the money in companies like Prepped and Polished or Mindset Go, I would ask you if it's important enough to pay for them to be on sports teams and and other extracurricular activities, I think it's certainly worthwhile to invest in the future and the things that will impact them for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Uh, Mark, thanks for coming on the uh, Prepped and Polished podcast. Appreciate your time, and thanks for making an impact, uh, and hope to have you again on the show. Alexis, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate the opportunity, and keep up the great work you're doing with your company. Great. Thank you. And this wraps up our show today. This was episode number 168 with teen mentor Mark Altman of Mindset Go. Check out Mark's website, MindsetGo.com. And for another related podcast interview, rewind and check out episode number 80 with Tammy Walsh. Her amazing talk about giving wisdom for teenage girls, calling teenage girls. Check out our next episode, 169, our Tutoring Tips episode on how to master ISE synonym questions. To access today's episode with Mark, number 168, as well as all of our podcast episodes, head over to prepperpolish.com forward slash podcast or go to soundcloud.com forward slash prepped and polished. Thank you for joining us on the Prep and Polish podcast. Now go out there and take control of your education. You've been listening to the Prepped and Polished podcast. For more information, check out PreppedAndPolished.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Class dismissed.